it's triggering. All I witnessed was him walking into the room and saying, where the f is she? And I, I, and I, I, I didn't know what was going on because I was like, I just woke up from a slumber and next thing you know, all I hear in the, from the bedroom was, you know, just, I don't want to like go back and think about. So you're at the Beverly Hills Hotel. You know, you hear something. You don't see Puffy actually physically attacking her, but you no. hear something. I did not know what was going on. I just, all I can think of was to get her out of there. What happened when she appeared, when you saw, when you saw her? What she, had, she was bruised. I mean, badly bruised, like knots on her head, a black eye. All I cared about was to get her to safety. And I took her into my house and kept her there for a few days. And I literally called my friend who was a doctor at the time to greet her because we couldn't bring her to the hospital. We didn't know what the hell to do at that yeah. point. You know, who are we gonna call? I, I'm scared. Just even talking about this. A little on DD's issue because during day out we do hear some explosive um, shocking revelations coming in from the embattled rapper who as we do speak now is uh, going to face trial uh, because the jury has apparently opened up um, an open uh, I should say committee where a lot of people are actually coming to come up with their um, allegations which apparently Didi uh, greeted them with and of course more people are yet to speak up about the uh, uh, experiences and encounters with Didi however Cassie's uh, makeup artist has also come out with something very shocking, given an insight of what ensued between Didi and Cassie some years back. Now, in a latest, uh, you know, confrontation, I must, I must say, or let me just say, uh, interview uh, by Cassie's uh, makeup artist, she said there was a time where she witnessed some aggression from the camp of Didi, uh, which apparently, according to her, she said that Didi was physically abusing uh, Cassie, and she said for some, I mean, for some time, she had been keeping this secret for a very long time. She didn't know how to go about it. She didn't know who to speak with or talk to because, of course, Didi was very powerful, and she has been able to keep this secret for close to six good years. And now she says it's the time to speak. Let's do listen to what this makeup artist has been talking about. Bear in mind that this is not the first time somebody is coming out to um, say or unravel some shady act of uh, the embattled rapper. Did you take a listen at this? We'll come back and let you know exactly what has been happening after this. I want to bring in Myla Morales. She's a former makeup artist for Diddy and also Cassie Ventura working for Diddy for years and eventually becoming a friend of Cassie's. In 2010, Myla alleges that she heard Cassie being physically abused and was a witness to the aftermath of the alleged attack. She joins me now. Myla, thank you so much for being here. This has been, for so many people, illuminating, infuriating, troubling, devastating. Mm -hmm. You can go down the list of things, but it's so difficult to speak about I know. being a witness of anything. T tell me how you must be feeling just knowing that this has even come to light. Well, I have kept this secret for like 14 years. I mean, the first time I experienced it was 2010 and um, I was in the hotel room when Puff broke, you know, came in and I had no idea Cassie left. And when I woke up, I just saw his, his, his presence come into the room. They went into the bedroom and shut the door and all I could hear is screaming and yelling and whatever was going on in there, I don't know. But all I could think of was um, to grab Cassie's things and start packing it up and just getting her out to safety and bringing her to my house. So that's kind of like what transpired from that night. And once she uh, came out of the room, she was badly, you know, beaten. Oh my God, what did, what did she, her physical appearance look like? 
I mean, it was it, knots on her knots on her head, black eye, busted lip, um, but a lot of knots all over her head. Did she go to the police at that point or anything? No. No, we didn't know what to do at that point because, you know, P Puffy is a very powerful person and we were quite terrified. So we, I just, you know, brought her to my house and my friend who is a doctor, I called her and she was, thank God she was in town because we didn't know what to do. And she treated her for, you know, just to make sure she didn't have any a concussion or, or anything like that. But it was, it was really, diff it was painful to, to see Cassie like that because she's such a, you know, a, a beautiful human being. And for mm -hmm. a man to, or a man to just hurt any sort of woman or child or animal, it doesn't matter, but Cass is a good friend of mine. And I just felt, you know, so I just didn't know what to do. I, I, I felt like, I, I don't even know how to describe how I felt that night. Did she describe how she was feeling about having that happen? Did did you get a sense that this was the first well, time? It it didn't feel like it. Um, because it wasn't it, it 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 was almost like, you know. So clearly, as you I can like see, she... uh, or you you may have heard, uh, Cassie's best friend, who also happened to be a uh, makeup artist, was talking about. She said. Uh, there was a time where Cassie and Didi were both locked up inside a room and Didi went uh, physical and when Cassie came out there were bruises all over her face. Uh, she, she she had, uh, you know, bruises, nasty bruises, let me just say. And, you know, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's something I just get emotional talking about this. And uh, someone would ask or say that why has she kept this for a very long time? Uh, for almost over six years and now she's coming out uh, to speak about it. Well, I don't know her reasons, but she had no option. Cassie herself, who was the victim, even took time uh, to be able to be very, um, I should say, sophisticated before she could come out to say a lot you know, um, that happened between herself and Didi. So let's, let's not just blame, uh, you know, the makeup artist so much, but it's very necessary and very also important that this information is brought out because it's also going to give a lot of people who might have seen so much uh, that Didi had done in the past. And of course, they also can uh, be bold enough to come out and speak. Uh, I, I've read comments like people say that, oh, well, so why now? Why is she speaking now? And uh, she's, all, she, I mean, she, she, she just wants some uh, 20 minutes of fame or, you know, attention and blah, blah, blah. She wants her name to be on tablet. Hello. If this lady has been able to keep, I mean, uh, to keep this secret for as long as six years, what attention again is she looking for? I mean, she could have gotten their attention long ago. If only she felt like, okay, this information was worth it, and so I have to let people know. But she kept it just as Cassie did, and she felt it is appropriate now because Cassie herself has made her story open, and everybody is also getting the courage, especially the women. And not just that, all the guys also who have been assaulted by Didi or been unfairly treated, molested and abused by Didi are equally coming out to speak. That's how justice works. As soon as one person starts speaking, you see a lot of entourage or people back in and of, of course um, speaking up about this. But I feel very sorry for Cassie, regardless of uh, the justice that she's seeking, the mental state. And of course, all these publications on the internet is still going to be there. And of course... Uh, her generation, you know, her kids and all of that, we're going to read about all these things uh, she she might have endured. I feel very sad for her, but hey, justice has been served for her. So let's keep the conversation going. Let's know what you think about it inside the comment section. Thanks for watching.